In this problem, uh, we're applying our knowledge of average speed. Let's underline that. It says that you run completely around a 400 meter track in 80 seconds. So the total distance traveled is 400 and the elapsed time is 80 seconds. Finding the average speed, speed is distance divided by time. So we've already manipulated this to solve for speed. It would be 400 meters divided by 80 seconds. Now, the distance does not have a sign, so we can just leave it 400. It wouldn't be plus, positive or negative, or to the east or to the west or north or south or up or down. It does not have a sign. So the answer is simply the ratio of the distance to the time. The average speed is five meters per second. The next problem that we're gonna solve uh, involves finding the average velocity. Now we placed an image of a track here because it's of particular interest because the average velocity, let's just write the formula, is displacement divided by time. And displacement is your final position minus your initial position divided by the elapsed time. So here's a track, a oh, nice little track. We have our pole vault and maybe our long jump and we have the paddock and usually you start your races for track and field right here at the start finish line. Oh the start and finish line are the same location. So when we run around this track we start and, and they're off and we're running and we're running and we're running all the way around. We're running the open 400 and we deviated from our lane a little bit, but that's okay because we finished our race and we made it. And remember, when your starting location and your ending location are the same, you start off at the zero meter mark and you end up at the zero meter mark, the displacement in this case is nothing. If I put a displacement of zero, if I put a zero on one side of the equation, I get a zero on the other. Whatever you do for one side of the equation, you do for the other. So in this problem, regardless of what the time was, it could have been taken forever. The average velocity is, or it could have taken an instant, it could have taken zero time. Well, not really, because that couldn't happen, but the average velocity is zero meters per second because of this displacement. Just again, let's restate. If the displacement is zero, that means the average velocity is zero.